How to do a needle slash straight scorpion without a lot of crazy stretching, beginner friendly. Truth is, you don't need to be crazy late flexible to do a needle. If you can do a basic split and a bridge from the ground, you can do a needle. The main important thing is developing strength and stability in the right muscles, posture alignment, and improving mobility in the underworked areas. Okay, we're gonna learn four super simple, easy, fast, do it at home exercises. I'm gonna help you with just that. Let's get started. Single leg deadlift. Start by taking our legs slightly behind us like we're doing an air best. And as you do this, you're gonna snake your hands down your leg until your back is about parallel with the ground. Nice and controlled, engage that core, come up to an upright standing position. Like a regular needle or air best, you can have a little bit of slack in your knee. It doesn't have to be like perfectly locked out. Make sure you're focusing your weight into your hips and your thighs and not your knees. This exercise is a little bit trickier, so you can place one hand lightly on a bar or your hip to keep your balance. Goal of this exercise really isn't so much about getting a super high air best, but to develop strength and stability and balance in your hamstrings, glutes, and quads. Also really good for opening and extending those hip flexors. You know that feeling you get like when you've been sitting in a chair for a while and some butt just feel like they're tight and like stuck and locked in place? This is so good for that. Want to challenge yourself even more? You can try holding a dumbbell or kettlebell in one hand to add extra resistance and really get those butt and hips on fire. So like I said earlier, although this looks kind of arabesque and pretty, it's really more to develop your balance and get used to standing with one leg real high in the air. So for those of you who feel like you can't stand on one leg or you're constantly having trouble grabbing that foot, this is the exercise for you. Let's do this. Let's make this last one pitch perfect pretty. And we're going to repeat these on the other side. Or you can use the bar for stability if you need to, but try not to apply too much weight or pressure into it so that way you still get the full extent of this exercise. I know we all have a favorite leg to stand on to do the needle, but it is really, really important to always exercise both sides of the body evenly. Don't create imbalances or discrepancies that lead to bigger problems down the road. And remember, you can also add a mini kettlebell or dumbbell in one hand to add some extra resistance and really get that fire going on in those legs and hips. A lot of pyramids and kicks and switches and TikToks, that crazy acro stuff. This exercise is so good for developing the stability and balance to do that. Nice and controlled, really engage that core and those legs. Let's make this last one count. Great, now for Superman's my fave because it works flexibility, mobility, and it's super strengthening. You're gonna extend your arms all the way out in front of you, legs all the way back, chest up, shoulders off the ground. Squeeze that butt, nice straight pointed legs. Then you're gonna lift your arms, chest, shoulders, legs up, down, off the ground. Up high, back down, up high, back down. Superman's are really good for improving your posture, lengthening your spine. Stretches the lats, the upper back, and the hip flexors. Strengthen those quads and glutes, which you use to kick in the needle. And just for getting a real good rear side going on, know what I'm saying? And bonus round, can we get in just five more of these? You got it, you're doing so good. Almost there. Next, we're gonna go into a flat back push-up plank position. Tiger those feet about shoulder width apart to keep your balance and stability. No high knees in the air and no twerk butt either. Squeeze your abs and back muscles to really, really extend that back straight. Slow and controlled, you're gonna raise and extend one arm out in front of you, shoulder level. Hold that position for a moment, then bring your arm down nice and controlled and switch to the other side. You really, really want to be engaging those lower ab muscles and balancing the weight in your feet evenly and practice switching your weight from shoulder to shoulder without rotating to the side. This is really good for developing shoulder and spine stability. Stretching and extending those pecs and upper arms, really important for reaching back to grab a needle. Also really good for strengthening that lower back. Those of you who are like, oh my gosh, this needle is stretching, it is killing my lower back, this exercise is so good for that. 
Next up, crunch negatives. Sit in a seated position, back perfectly straight, engage that core. And instead of doing like a regular sit up, you're gonna do this backwards. Slowly lower to the ground, vertebrae by vertebrae, nice and controlled. Set back upright, good posture. Keep your feet stable, it can help to flex your feet and focus a little more of your weight into your heel. Just be sure that you're not straining into your feet and you're focusing all your energy into your core and midsection. Nice job, repeat, reset. Also try extending your legs out straight into a pike and rolling down hollow body position. This is how I personally prefer to do it. Challenge yourself, you can also try to sit up like a regular sit up crunch and not do the manual reset. If you do challenge yourself to try the full on full crunch position, that is awesome. Just make sure that you're really engaging that core and not just relying on the momentum from pushing off the ground. Good way to optimize that is by turning your palms up to face the sky because that kind of forces you to really engage your stomach muscles instead of just swinging your arms for momentum. I'm rolling out that spine like it's an elegant scroll and as you do this you're keeping that stability in that core. Come on keep going we are almost there. Great job! You are done with round one of the workout. You did amazing. You've got two more to go after this video is over. But first, I'm going to show you a few follow along stretches you can do to improve your needle and talk a little bit more about this flexibility program. This video is the first and a part of a full flexibility series by Cheer Fit. I'm going to put their link in the description below, but basically, they have a four week flexibility program. Week one is on needle, and next week is gonna be on general flexibility. Every Saturday for the next four weeks, I will demo that week's flexibility topic from CheerFit. A lot more to it than just this workout. They have an entire four week, 28 day plan. Every single day you have either a different exercise or a different fitness tip, flexibility tip. They have an amazing support team too, so if you ever have questions about the exercises or what you should do, you can always text in or even live chat with somebody. They have like an amazing community, chair fit training on Instagram, so if you take pictures of your progress, show them along the way, tag both of us, we'll share them on our feeds. I'll put the link right here in the description below where you can go to sign up for that and you can get 10% off with the code ERICA10. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notifications, and follow both me and TrueFit on Instagram so we can keep up with your progress. If you want to twin with me, ericalinactive.com, I would love to see you guys in my activewear gear that I designed myself. Remember, as always, I always, 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 always respond to every single YouTube comment. So if you need that any questions on any of the exercises or want extra tips or support on how to like improve your needle or flexibility, fitness, whatever it is, write it below. I will get back to you. That's a guaranteed promise. And I will see you in about 12 seconds at the beginning of this video. Because remember, that was round one, but you got two more to go to complete your needle workout more rounds you got this and once you've gotten to round three give yourself a pat on the back because you did amazing and that means i will see you in next week's cheer fit topic of saturday which is going to be general flexibility brand new exercises and bonus stretches see you then bye